In this question we review some key third and power rules without a calculator. Now, in the first question we've got square root of 2 all to the power of 4. Now, in my view, the best way to attempt this is to write it out longhand. That is all that the power of 4 means in this context. We can then use a really important third rule, which we can write out above. And basically, root of 2 times root of 2 is the same as square root of 4. 2 times 2 is 4, and root of 4 just goes back to 2. So effectively, if you times together two thirds that are the same, in a sense, the square root cancels. And more generally, root of a times root of a just equals a. So I can pair off those and also pair off those. Root 2 times root 2 just equals 2. It happens again with this part and that just equals 4. There is another approach to this, however this can lead to larger numbers which is why I didn't show you it first of all. The other approach is to do 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, 2, 4, 8, 16, and to write a big square root over the 16. But again, root of 16 just equals 4, so it still leads to the same answer. Again, this way tends to lead to smaller numbers in your calculations. This way can lead to larger calculations, which can be less easy to work out. Now, in the second example, which we will approach in the same way, we've got a bracket to the power of 2, which I can write as root 2 plus 3 bracket root 2 plus 3. And again, it helps to write things out longhand. Then to expand brackets, we have different methods. They can be called foil or smiley face method. I tend to draw lines to match off the things which I need to times together. I've got the first two terms to times, I've got the inner terms, the outer terms, and the last two terms. Now then, we then work out each term really carefully. Root 2 times root 2 is root 4, which we know from above equals 2. Now then, 3 lots of root 2 just equals 3 lots of root 2. It's not root 6. Again, this bit here also is 3 lots of root 2. And then last but not least, remember we're multiplying here by adding, 3 times 3 equals 9. Then to finish off, this can be simplified. The integers, the 2 and the 9, are to make 11. And if I've got 3 lots of something, plus a further 3 lots of something, it must be 6 lots of that something, which in this case just is 6 lots of root 2. So if I expand and simplify, the answer is 11 plus 6 root 2. Now lastly, we've got a negative power with a fraction in as well. And this allows us to recap some really important rules. Now first of all, the power of half. Now the power of a half just means the square root. It's the opposite of squaring. So a half means the square root of 9, which we know just equals 3. However, the negative power also means something really important. And the negative power means reciprocate, which means 1 over. So this question means 1 over 9 to the power of a half. More generally, x to the power of minus a is 1 over x to the power of a. So the negative power becomes 1 over. Nothing else has changed yet. However, I know that 9 to the power of a half just equals 3. So I can write this just as 1 over 3, which is a nice accurate fraction 
Assonance. 